don't long pigs at his eyes. So obviously you want coming at you for a Transformers transformation review thingy. Yes, I'm bringing that back. Yes, we're going to travel back in time to 1988, the halcyon days of the Masters. And not the Masters of the Universe, no, the Power Masters, yes. We're going to take a look at Power Master Autobot Joyride and his um, function is just warrior. Uh, enjoy each moment like it's your last. A reckless road racing Autobot always drives faster than he should, enjoys the thrill of racing at high speeds, fights for the fun of it, uh, which annoys many of his more serious-minded Autobot, uh, serious-minded Autobots. Um, titanium belted wheels secrete adhesive for pinpoint maneuverability on the road. Binary bonded to the Nebulon Hotwire, a reformed car thief and ace mechanic. He is uh, also armed with a photon blaster that freezes eternal mechanisms on impact. Well, that's not how photons work, but there we go. <laughs> Join me, shan't you, for a bit of this. And there is Joyrad in his vehicle mode, and he looks pretty fucking cool. He's like a beach beach buggy, kind of like a sandstone sort of thing. Um, really cool. And he rolls fantastically well. As you can see, we've got a new surface, yes. This is my gaming mat, my Star Trek TCG gaming mat. Um, it does well for reviews as well. So yeah, ex expect to see this more. Um, yeah, so he rolls really well on this... On this um, this is is really cool yeah it rolls really well uh, we've got some nice detail going on the wheels are a little bit bland this should have this should be black instead of brown um, i don't know why they went for that brown color there um the hubcaps should be painted in but they're not um visible hand syndrome although it's not too bad you can sort of see sort of engine things going on there um we've got some uh, sus you know some shocks there we've got a winch on the front there we've got this really nice um sort of um, bumper, I guess. Um, it's got radio control vibe, radio control car vibes to it, which is not a bad thing either. You got some uh, big, big lights there, which are all chrome, which is nice. Um, he does need some stickers though. He's a bit lacking, especially here. Um, um, the gun storage isn't too bad in this mode. It doesn't look out of place. So a lot of the time when you put a gun on. A vehicle mode can look out of place, so we'll just take the gun off just for now because we'll be needing that later. Um, and he's very cool. Um, I really do like it as well. So we're going to take a look at his his um, his Power Master partner, Hot Wire. If I can get him out of there. Um, but actually, before we do that, we'll take a look, and you can see the stickers here need some real repo. Um, uh, <laughs> some toy hacks going on there. Um, so basically, the idea of Power Masters is you get the engine, and then what you do is you put them in this cavity here, the wrong way around even, to get it right turn, um, and then you put it in like that, and then that free ups the transformation, but we'll do that later. So we'll just take a look at Hotwire. Now, there's not many Power Masters, there's more Headmasters and Target Masters than there are Power Masters. So this is Hotwire. Um, we'll take a look at his engine there. Um, we'll zoom that in so we can get a closer look. Um, whoa, too far. <laughs> I'm still playing with this one. There we go. As you can see, real nice sort of like bronze chrome, I want to say. Um, nice big screw in the middle, which is always good. <laughs> but yeah, it's an engine. What more do you want? He does transform like all the Power Masters. You just basically bring down his legs. And turn him round, and you're done. And there he is in robot mode. Typical Power Master guy. Um, I dig it. I really do. I like his eye. I like his head sculpt. Um, I like this sort of camera thing he's got going on there, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the colours. The colours kind of work. Sort of this grey, this dark grey, and then um, well, sort of sort of pewter colour. I guess, uh, with his red visor, although his red face, let's be honest. And then he's got his blue arms and legs, which, blue arms and legs, what more do you want? And his articulation is he can move his arms very tightly, up and down, and that's your lot. His legs can move in and out, but that's more for transformation than anything else. So we'll zoom this out, and we'll put a hot wire 
over there. And onto the main event. And, uh, oh, we need hot wire back. So we'll just transform him into um, vehicle mode. Now, I like the head, the power, the, <coughs> excuse me. I like the master gimmick because it was t basically getting two toys in one. That's why um, Armada was really good. And I've just noticed there's a, there's a horrible smudgy mark on his windscreen there. Um, we'll just take a look, another look at his, his close look at his details. There, you can see the head headlights really nice there. Nice big Autobot badge. Um, uh, back's very, very plain. Doesn't do a lot. Um, but no robot kibble at all underneath, which is really cool. So, I mean, to an untrained eye, you might not think that's a Transformer at all. So they disguised it very well. However, his arms kind of just stick out, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, oh, see the... Um, Stamp there. 1987 Hasbro Takara E7 made in China. Well, so to transform him, you you need this to transform. You can, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of push that in like that and it will, it will unlock, but the gimmick is that they can't transform until they have the Power Master engine. So it just fits in there like so. If you can get us in there, yeah. So we do that. So first thing we do for this guy is we rotate the legs like that then we can and then we don't do that yet just move, keep the arms where they are get this section rotate that down like that and his head will pop up we get in a minute let me just rotate this up there we go then we get his chest section here and we rotate it and just push his arms back a little and rotate his chest around like that which is a horrible sound and then we get his legs and then we no, before we do that, it's been a while since I played with this guy actually. You rotate his legs around thus, rotate that down like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Horrible catch in my throat today, I don't know why. Um, and then we give him his gun. And oh, he's a bit pissed and he falls down. Um, and there he is in robot mode. And actually, looks really good in robot mode. I dig it, I think he's cool. Um, so, yeah, he's got a uni leg, which is, you know, I never did like that, but it's fine. It's functional. He stands, you know. Um, that's not too bad. Um, in terms of articulation, then, his arms can theoretically... Well, listen to that click. Ooh, that's a horrible sound. Ooh. Ooh, no. Theoretically, he can, but he can't pass this kibble. Which is a bit of a shame. I suppose you could rotate it down and you could do that. But it does rotate 360 degrees. But because of the kibble, you ain't getting there. He has elbow bend, which is pretty cool. Which is unusual for a G1 figure. He has waist articulation to a certain extent. That's more for transformation. He could bend at his uni knee, but that's for transformation. And that's your lot, unfortunately. And there he is in robot mode. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll take a close look at some of the details. There's his face there. Let's zoom that in a little bit more. Um, there we go. Look at his face. Not too bad. Wish the eyes were painted. But, you know, it ain't too bad. The dead sculpt's quite nice on this guy. And if it zooms in a bit, there we are. See what I'm doing now. It is not too bad at all. I quite like that. Uh, it's very, not very robot-y, as, as you'd imagine. Um, so yeah, he ain't a bad little figure, actually. Um, and I don't think I paid too much for this guy. Um, because the Power Masters, there's only nine, I think. Um, not counting the, because the Japanese released um, a few of these on their own, like Shuffler and... Um, Kirk, I want to say, because they did Headmasters as well. I might be confusing them, the names. I can't remember offhand, but basically, um, they did release a few of these on their own. So if you lost this one, you could buy another engine, stick him in there, and he would work. Because yeah, I think there's only nine separate characters for the for the. I think. Let me just go through them. Jerry Rad here. Then you've got um, Dreadwind, Darkwing, Optimus Prime. Joyrad, that is Joyrad. Get away. Um, not sure shot, no. 
I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's a really nice figure. I do like the colours. I think the sort of like the luminous pink and the uh, turquoise works really well. And the white, it's sort of, sort of off white. I want to say more cream colour than it is white. Um, actually, it's looking like that in 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 camera. The colours are actually looking a lot, lot more brighter in camera. It looks more blue on screen than it does in reality. It's more turquoise. Um, and these look a lot lot pinker on the um, you know on screen. Uh, but yeah, he's really cool. I do dig him. I do dig him. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like what I do, why not like, share, and subscribe? Hit that notification bell so I've got new um, videos out, new content out. And if you're in a position to help the channel, please check out my um, Patreon. There will be a link in the description. And um, and thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.